welcome back to my channel. Let's go ahead and get straight into it. Of course, any information that you may be looking for will be listed in the description. So just check there. Alrighty, Virgos. What's the major arcana describing the energy around them? So we have the hangman, and I love the way that this card looks. I don't know why. Yes, so the hangman. This is the energy of waiting in limbo. Um, so a lot of you are in a space to where things feel like it's moving kind of slow, um, but it's not necessarily that anything's moving slow around you or that you have delays necessarily. It's just you're needing to see the full picture on something and all the details may have not manifested quite yet or haven't been as clear to you as they need to be. Um, this is also the energy of like someone not being all the way real and during this time frame you will be able to finally like see this person for who they are if this is like you dating somebody and they've been putting on this facade that they're so like faithful or um like if you just notice certain things about this individual it may finally kind of come out especially if this person has been doing things like undercover here um, speaking of this, you may be hearing from someone who you didn't expect to hear from, um, and this may finally put things in perspective and actually give you the understanding that you need so that you can move forward, because a lot of you may have been kind of stuck and in this space of literal limbo because of the fact that you didn't understand why this person may have ghosted you or why things never were recoverable in the first place. And it's either this person is going to show you like, okay, maybe we can work things out. We can move forward or show you I need to move the hell on from this, okay? All right, let's keep going. I have the intuition card. So yes, you guys are really, really tapped in during this time frame. You may be needing to take some time for yourself. You may be very energy sensitive. Um, yeah, you may be needing to take some time for yourself, especially if you're having a lot of spiritual downloads or like you're starting to become flustered because I get that energy a little bit. Um, you may be needing to take a step back from engaging with too many people during this time frame. Um, again, like I said, a lot of you are in tune. You could already be sensing that something's up with somebody. Trust me, your intuition will be vindicated or your, your intuition will be vindicated or let me rephrase that. Anything that you may feel is off, it will be confirmed or not um during this time frame it could be a little bit out even like within the next month or so i have love that showed up so i'm getting the energy of you guys really needing to get your heart chakra in alignment here some of you have not been some of you have not been loving on yourself like how you need to and when i say that that's beyond like getting your nails done getting your hair done like that's just that's material stuff but i'm speaking to like loving yourself enough to know not to deal with people who make you settle in terms of knowing your worth or loving yourself enough to know that you need to stop procrastinating on cleaning up your house or something like that or loving yourself to know that you you know have to pick yourself up and try again the next day because you have all the potential in the world to make the next day a better day it's like pouring into yourself more and not always just being that beacon of light for others and not for yourself especially in moments where you're doubting where you worry etc but I want to get more in depth with this energy. Let's go ahead and flip the camera and see what the cards have to say. Like I said, any information you need in terms of booking a reading, joining my Patreon community will be below. And let's see the cards. Virgos, let's see what's going on. Virgos, the energy around them. So we have the Ten of Wands here as the first card. And this is the energy of trying to gather yourself, honestly. I don't really see the Ten of Wands as the traditional meaning um, during this reading at all. I see this Ten of Wands as you guys trying to gather all your resources, 
all that you have in order to keep pushing and to start fresh within your energy. You could be, um, like I said, just in this, like, I'm going to keep pushing it vibe. <laughs> like, you guys are tired of allowing yourself to put up with certain things for way too long. And now you're like, you know what? I'm just going to take everything that I know that I have, I know that I possess my worth, and I'm going to move on from a destructive relationship that's been making you feel like, dang, I'm not enough, or a job that makes you feel like the hard work that you're putting in just isn't enough for you to get a raise or to be promoted or something. Um, yeah, I just get you, I, I just get this energy that you guys are in a space of just wanting to move along, wanting to see what's ahead of you and needing to kind of clear out some energy first in order to see clearly. So if you are experiencing this energy of like, dang, why is there a blockage in this arena in my life? Why is there a blockage in that arena? It could be because you're not really able to see clearly because there's things that still need to be purged from your focus, your in your ability to see your your eyesight. Okay, I have the temperance card. So this is the energy of patience, needing to tap into patience, but then also having a balance between being in tune with your emotions and then also being in tune with like being grounded in a sense. Sorry guys, we got cut off. Um, but with the temperance card being here, this is the energy of tapping into being in tune with your personal emotions and also being grounded at the same time and also patience patience resilience regardless of what's going on with, around you this is like being in tune with your angels essentially and trusting regardless of how murky the waters may seem knowing that your angels got you so with the temperance card um some of you guys you may have like this immense amount of worry i will be honest and this is you needing to kind of moderate your emotions and be aware of how this could be working you up or causing you to have a lot more stress than necessary during this time frame um another thing also you could be trying to be more balancing your spending this could be waiting for certain financial opportunities to come through. This could be you wanting to get like maybe into a, a more stable environment. And this may require you to kind of step up in your financial uh, arena in order for you to be able to afford like a more comfortable place to stay. Hmm. Some of you guys also may slightly be feeling unfulfilled within like your marriage or your relationship. You could be trying your best to remain patient though because of the fact that you guys may have like a child together or you may live together, whatever this may be, or you guys just have been together for so long, but it's starting to become a lot for you. Let's keep going. I have the two of swords. So clashing, this could be verbal clashing between you and your person of interest, co-workers, okay? Um, also with the two of swords, there could be this confliction in terms of two ideas. You could have some really great financial ideas that keep coming to you, but you're unable to kind of distinguish, okay, what's more profitable or what's an idea that I can stick with. Mm, okay, so somebody who you may have stopped talking to and you may have kind of refused speaking to for a while, they could be like trying to come to a point of like forgiveness or truth here and you could be deciding to kind of like ignore them or you may kind of struggle with like making a decision on whether or not to take them back in if not ignore so it kind of may take you a second to entertain this or even take it serious. All right, next card I have is the two of pentacles. Mm. 
So you could be finally addressing someone's like inability to be constant with you. Their energy could very much switch up depending on the day and you could be tired of this. This could be a Gemini or another earth sign um, where one day they seem like, okay, I'm interested in building something with you and making something work. And then the next day it just seems like very distant, very disconnected in a sense. Um, you could also be, like I was kind of seeing earlier, trying to find ways to either balance out your finances, whether that's like your spending and how much money you're making, like the flow of how money is coming in and out, or overall trying to find ways to like get more money so that you can survive. You could be having to move soon and you feel like your financial situation isn't exactly where you want it to be. And you could be having some major decisions to make in regards to that. Um, during this time frame, if you're about to make like some sort of large purchase and you may be getting things on more so the cheaper side, understand that you're getting what you pay for. So if you are disappointed, um, yeah, understand that you're going to be getting what you pay for. That was like a random message, but it came through. All right, and then I have the Knight of Wands. So, hmm. Okay, so a love interest here could be being very flaky. This could be a fire sign. They could be someone who's a businesswoman, businessman. They could be here and there and everywhere all the time. Um, very flighty. They could flirt, come on to you pretty heavy show like this heavy interest in you but then not be as consistent as you would like and you could be like checking them about that also any plans that you may have during this time from they may be slightly altered not saying that they may not come through but they may be altered in some sense hmm some of you guys also may be like wanting to change up like the feng shui or the layout of a home. Like you may be feeling like you're not really inspired with like a home office anymore or a space that you do work in. The most random messages came through. I hope that this was helpful. Let me go ahead and pull one more card for you. There it goes. All right, and we have be impeccable with your word. It says become a white magician. There you go. And the back of this card reads, all the magic you possess is based on your word and you cast spells all the time with your opinions. You can either put a spell on someone with your word or you can release someone from a spell. Interesting, so this is understanding that your words are powerful. No matter what you think about that, honestly, words have always been powerful from the beginning of time. Sorry, these cards are like bothering me. Anyways, um, yeah, back to what I was saying. That threw me all the way off. When it comes to words, you need to be careful what you speak out into the universe. Okay, you can speak curses on yourself or you can speak life into yourself. You can speak curses onto other people or you can speak life into other things. And yeah, irregardless of what you believe, words have always been spells. It's a matter of what you say and what you convey and how things manifest because of that. If you're somebody who's a, a good talker, you can talk yourself into plenty of situations just as if you were somebody who didn't know how to put yourself out there. You could have blockages in terms of meeting people and getting connections and whatnot. So once you understand that, this will help you understand the concept of how powerful your words are and how they connect you to other people, other opportunities or push you away. But this is what I see. I do wish you the best of luck. And I will see you later. Bye, guys.